everybody, today I'm visiting Nanju Theme Park. It is a drama film set for some K-dramas. Some of them were kind of recent and some of them you may know. So this is a pretty big drama set, one of the biggest ones I've been to. There's a lot to do from walking around, taking photos, you can wear a cool costume. One cool spot in Naju is the theme park where some dramas were filmed and it's really cute and there's a lot of photo zones and a museum and a lot more so let's check it out. Here at the theme park this road has some signatures and some handprints of some actors who have starred in some K-dramas here at this filming location and it's kind of cool to see the size of their hand. This theme park is pretty big. As you can see, this theme park is pretty large. You can walk around, take some photos, and just look at some of the sites of where some dramas were filmed. And it's kind of cute for a date or for families to explore or solo travelers. Unlike some other theme parks, this one actually has an art museum where it has replicas of some famous art pieces around the world. Since I can't travel to other countries to see the real art, I guess I can check out this museum. Here is the kiss drawn in 1908. Does anyone know this art piece? It also would not be Korea without some history lessons or some more information about the exact information of the place. So you can find some posters here about the K-dramas and also some Korean history. And of course, there's also some fun games so you can play, not just walk around, it's kind of fun. So the goal is to throw these into the little buckets. I got one in. Let's play some drum.
So trying on a traditional hanbok or a traditional costume and it looks like it's free so you can choose anyone you want. I'm gonna go with this one. When you walk in the entrance and up this hill, there's also a small cafe right there where you can buy water or something like that. They also have some of these bowls that you could purchase. They look like very nice. They look like they were ceramic. There's two! As you keep walking up the hill, you'll see there are some older, maybe they are older baskets. More baskets. Some materials. I think this area is the most recognizable because it's surrounded by all of the buildings and this building looks the most recognizable. There are a few steps around the entire theme park, but mostly hills. It looks like it's closed off. Maybe they're painting it. So this is the most memorable scene right behind me. I think this is the coolest. If you visit here, try to find these circles because they're really pretty. Here's the Lotus Pond Palace. Wow! Wow, oh, I've never seen this before. Up here has a really nice view of the river. And you can see the difference of the houses are newer here compared to the older ones far down there. That is where the actors will sleep for a few weeks or during their filming time.
When I first moved to Nanju, I did a field trip with my students to this theme park and we were able to ride a boat down there on the river and we were able to see this theme park. If you walk to the very end of all the hills and everything, you could reach this observatory and it's kind of cool because it has the ultimate view of the river here. Well, we've reached the end of the Naju theme park. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see more Life in Korea videos. If you know any of the K-dramas and the scenes that they were, if, that you recognize, you can comment them below and let everybody else know. That'd be helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.